So since I haven't been able to actually get a game against the pig, I'm going to show you how to play as the pig. As the pig. So I went ahead and used the new map because I love this map. It's amazing. Like the totems are actually hard to find on them. And now I'm using two totem perks. I'm hoping this one's not in a bad spot. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. So what you want to do playing the pig is you want to actually use cover to hit your targets. You don't want to just go at them straight away. You want to actually hit them. So you need to go from around cover and things like that. And the very first survivor that you down put a bear trap on him. What I'm using is slow release toxin. She has a uh, decisive, she's probably gonna get out. What I'm using is slow release toxin and uh, last will to give me an extra bear trap. So now I have the regular amount, the four bear traps. Oh my God, I missed. That was perfect. Well, I'm gonna get you anyway, it doesn't matter. So. Whenever they have a bear trap on their head right now, the slow release toxin puts an exhausted effect on them. So no matter what, there goes the first one. Where am I going? There goes the first one. I would love to put her in the basement, but I'm not gonna make it. So the first person has their trap triggered right now. Oh, I could have made it to the basement. God damn it. Make sure to break all the pallets that you can. Oh, my rune's gone. At least I still have my devour hope though. I need to get away from him so when he gets unhooked, my devour hope goes off. So I'm gonna chase this guy. I can't believe I lost him like that. But this totem seems to be in a decent spot. He's just going up and down these stairs. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. She got the trap off her head. So now I need to find someone else to put the trap on. I think this is the one that saved him. So I think I still have the exposed. Effect. Nope, never mind. Not the, not the one. All right, then. Oh, she knows where my totem is now. All right, now I put a bear trap. I need to keep the pressure on. Because if I do that, and they pop the generator, then it at least puts pressure on this guy to not do a generator, if you understand what I'm saying. I can make it to the basement, maybe? No, I can't. Making sure she didn't come back around. This guy's going ahead and dropping all the pallets for me, so that's good. You always want to keep a couple traps for the end of the game to keep pressure on people. Oh my god, I missed it. All right. 
I'm pretty sure one of these guys knows where my Devour Hope is, so I'm hoping they don't go to it right away. So it gives me some time to get back there. Yeah. There are no hooks around me. Great. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to this. Nice. I think she's the one that saved him. I still have exposed on her. Never mind. There aren't a lot of uh, pallets for you to use. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna save two traps for the end of the game. I have Devour Hope now, which is gonna be nice. Now I can actually one hit down people no matter what. I don't have to have the exposed effect on them. I'm hoping I can see people with my barbecue chili this time. Nope, everybody is around. All right, down. There is a hook right there. There's a guy right around the corner right there, thinking I didn't see him. Got another token. This guy's down. There's another hook right there. My devour hope isn't gonna go up again once I get this guy, because someone's gonna probably save him. Maybe not. Let him go. He's got a trap on him, so he can't. He's not gonna do a generator. Got him on the hook. And now we're just gonna try. Oh. Scratch marks from under going on the walls up here. Hey, how's it going? I don't have my Devour Hope 5 yet, so I can't Mori anyone. I don't even think I'm gonna make it. Oh yeah, I can make it to a hook. Like, I love this map for the totems. The totem placement in this map is amazing. It's the best totem placement they've ever done. They finally hired someone who knows what they're doing. Kinda, probably. And she died! Well, that was a fun game, guys. <laughs> her head just popped. I didn't even have to go find her. And these are with perks that aren't even that good right now. Like, my ruin isn't that good. But still, at least did its job a little bit. Uh, I, actually, no. My exposed and my devour hoper. Wow. So, um, a little tip for people: the hatch can only spawn on the on the bottom floor. It can't spawn on the top floor because then you're jumping into the, the, the second floor. So it's only gonna spawn on the bottom floor. Just a little tip for you guys. But basically, you just want to control the map. Don't try to get your bear traps to actually kill people. You want to control the map. The slow release toxin causes everything to go slower. Maggots. And uh, the last will gives me another trap that allows me to control the game for longer. I still had two traps left. And th those traps were for when the gates were powered. And then you find someone, put the traps on them. And then it's either... Someone's gonna leave and then kill the people with the traps on them or they're gonna stay in so that they can get the traps off Which gives you time to actually down people But that's basically it 
You want to control the map. You don't want the bear trap to actually kill them. You want to control the map with the bear trap. Because when they have a bear trap on their head, they're not going to go after generators. They're going to go after the boxes. So the more bear traps you can put on people at the beginning of the game, the less time or the less likely a generator is going to pop. And then you want to just use that to control the map. I hope you guys understand. So now we're going to play on a map that's not the new map. She only basically has a couple of maps that are actually good for her. But at the same time, this is not one of them. So what you want to do, I, I forgot what the add-ons I'm using. Not the same add-ons as last game. Ah. Woo! That was a nice one. Not even going to lie. So you just want to control the map. Get someone down as fast as you can. Throw a bear trap on them. And control the map. And getting pallets. Throwing in my face. Alright. This guy's got a lot of places that he can go through right now. Oh, you're so lucky I got stuck. Ah. I just need someone to get a trap on their head. But there's so many places to go in this map. It's unbelievable. Oh, they broke my devour hope, you bastards. Gotta watch where you're going. <laughs> so you don't have to hit someone with your with your lunge. You wanna bait them out. You wanna try and cut them off if you can. Oh, here's the loop. Alright. You gotta learn how to not loop, buddy. Now that all the pallets are gonna be gone, there's not a lot of pallets anymore since they uh, decreased the amount of pallets in the maps. So you're gonna have to learn to use some windows now. The other guy got his trap taken off, so that's why I threw a trap on this guy. Wow, nice, got stuck. These guys are also around. Got him. Oh, my, I wasn't far enough from my exposed. God damn it. I'll smack you. I have no problem with that. Don't go and body block for people. Or if you're gonna at least if you're gonna body block, at least know what you're doing. Now you can go in the basement. This guy's not even gonna block for you. See? <laughs> So my exposed effect still gives one hit downs. So I'm hoping someone goes save him. Right as I'm... Okay, someone saved him. My exposed effect is on. They're healing downstairs. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. 
because now I'm going to have enough time to get over there and chase the guy that doesn't have the bear trap on his head. He's in here still. Exposed! My exposed effect should still pop when someone saves him. So I'm keeping my distance. Now if they stay in there and healed, it's a very bad idea. No, they're already out. Well. All right, let's go throw you uh, on a hook. I'm going to keep this last trap because there's still a trap in play. So I'm going to keep this last one for later on in the game if it starts going too fast. That trap is now activated on that guy. This is the guy with the trap. I just wanted to see if I could stop the uh, the chase music by going prone like that or going crouched. So I guess I can. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Or else he wouldn't have looped this and he would have jumped out that window instead of the window that's on the balcony or the, the balcony area. So the guy with the trap is dead. Now I have to put a trap on someone else. I got three generators that I'm gonna keep on lock. Very long hedge. Ah! All right, they got the other generator that I wanted them to get. Ah! I'm pretty sure this guy's dead, so I'm not going to put a trap on him. I think he's dead. You gotta make sure you pay attention to all the hooks that you do. There's a there's a jigsaw box up there. What the hell? Pay attention to all the, the hooks you do and don't put a trap on someone that's going to die on the next hook. You might as well just save it for someone else. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect these three generators, try and down someone as fast as I can. Oh, hi, Bill. Why were you just sitting there waiting for me to run at you? I don't understand. Why wouldn't you just run? boy oh bill you done messed up you got nowhere to go don't even try to jump through that window bill so a trap on you I'm pretty sure you're the one I haven't seen yet maybe I think I think place him near my hooks or near my my uh my my whatchamacallit my uh my my generators that I gotta protect but also far enough away where my barbecue and chili can go off. N oh, uh, never mind, he's dead. Crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. 
I'm like, pay attention to the hook, your people you hook, and I'm not paying attention at all. But if I knew he was gonna die, I would have just trapped him and left him on the floor. See, now this is just a game of cat and mouse. Where basically, if I find him before he finds the hatch, he's dead. But if. Oh, you done messed up! Oh shit, I done messed up. And that is how you play the goddamn pig. I'm a boss. I'm amazing. One after another, 4Ks. Just one game after another. Amazing. 10 out of 10, IGN. Would play again. Now let's go crouch around the map for a little bit. Wait, can I get points off of doing this on... Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> she's already gone. Well, she's still there a little bit. Can I get points off of this? Nope. Sad face. She sucks at getting points, though. Like, you have to actually hit a lot of your ambush attacks to get points on her. Which kind of sucks. Let's see how many points I got. 23k. Not too bad. And I also have barbecue and chili and a bloody party streamer on. So I got a lot of points. And now I'm going to prestige her and hope I get better freaking perks this time. But at least give me barbecue and chili back. That's all I want. Thank you very much. I'm just all about this money, I don't think about no thighs no Girl, you don't know about me, so me. get off my fucking D my Born D. and raised in the thigh, this is real as you gon' see you Girl, see. you don't know about me, so me. get off my fucking D